and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And I start off with a story that's been playing out over the last fortnight. Now, if you had paid a rock star a reported 50 million US dollars to 150 million US dollars for 50% of their song catalog with a view of generating income from royalty streams, you'd be a bit cross if the rock star made a decision that it impacted your income generation. So I'm just wondering how the Hypnosis Song Fund Limited is dealing with Neil Young's decision that his songs can no longer be played on Spotify. Now, Hypnosis were the ones to buy half of Neil Young's catalogue, but thankfully they also have Mark Ronson, Chic, Barry Manilow and Blondie on their books because Neil Young has certainly impacted their books. However, company broker JP Morgan Casanova has rejected the notion that the Music Royalties Fund faces a big financial hit from Neil Young's withdrawal. And of course, there's no such thing as bad publicity because for the generation who hasn't heard of Neil Young, they are now interested and in listening to his music. Well, investors in Premier African Minerals were whistling a happy tune after a late start of the week announcement about its Zulu lithium and tantalum project in Zimbabwe. Now, it's acknowledged the market rumours and speculation and said it has signed a non-binding heads of terms with the lithium manufacturer for a direct investment into Zulu. Well, the announcement led to the highest volume of shares being traded in the stock for almost three years. Now, Zulu has been the focus of prospectus since the 1950s, and 70 years on will Zulu yield what lies beneath. And more market rumours, because have investors fallen out with Peloton? Peloton makes the exercise bike that was one of the biggest impulse purchase decisions during the many lockdowns. But it has had one of the biggest advertising faux pas, with an ad showing a user having a heart attack. But as with the Neil Young story, there's no such thing as bad publicity, unless, of course, it deals with poor health. Now, with calls for the chief executive to fall off his Peloton seat, there are rumours that Apple, Nike and Amazon will want to buy the exercise bike maker. And Peloton is updating the market the day after I record this video, so one to look out for. And there's rumours of private equity interest in THG Group or The Hut Group. Now, the shares have lost three quarters of their value since the company floated in September 2020. One year later, in October last year, the company had a pretty calamitous capital markets days. Now, capital markets days are usually opportunities to attract investment. They are a typical beauty pageant. But the event failed to reassure investors, didn't address concerns, and left analysts with more questions than answers. And hopefully this video hasn't done the same. Hope you're well. Take care. I'll be back same time next week.